Training camp is here, ladies and gentlemen. Training camp is here, and a familiar face has returned. Ben Roethlisberger, Big Ben, is back. Thank God, man, because we all know last year the struggles we went through. Yeah, we don't even have to discuss about it. We all know what we had to endure. No, I, I know we don't want to refresh your memories of, uh, you know, who was that quarterback the, you know, last year when Ben went down in that Seattle game. Yesterday... On Twitter, or technically all over social media, the Steelers themselves posted a video, as you guys can see here, Ben throwing his first day at camp, him throwing, and he looks good, and it, if you ask me, he doesn't look fat at all. No, because according people... To, people... Uh, according to uh, the media and fans and everything saying, oh, he's fat, he's oh, out oh, of he, shape. Oh, he's out of shape, he's fat, he's not in good shape. Are you sure about that? Because he look he looks thin as hell. Yeah, as he it, looks in great shape. Right, as he mentioned, and he mentioned stuff like that in the 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 media call he had today. Uh, he had a he met with the media today on a Zoom call, in which he said a lot of very interesting stuff that I'm sure got Steelers fans incredibly excited, us included. That video alone got us excited, seeing him throw for the first time at camp, his first day there at Heinz Field since since week two last year. 11 months. It's, it's a great sight to see, man. It makes us feel good. It makes us feel excited. And hear what Ben said today? Like the statements he says in the thumbnail, man? Holy shit, man. It just got us even more excited for more this upcoming up. year, man. Absolutely. So we're going to get right into it right now. He started with, uh, of course, the media was asking him about, you know, his elbow injury and all that. He mentioned that, Ben mentioned that he has been dealing with the elbow injury for a couple years, but it was never serious to do anything about until that Seattle game, of course, which is interesting because if he's been dealing with this injury for a couple of years now and he still put up incredible numbers, and that last full year he was healthy, 2018, mm-hmm. in which he was still dealing with that injury, he put, he put up career highs in passing yards and passing touchdowns. That's pretty. That's, di- that's impressive. That's pretty insane. And now he's completely healthy back, and according to him, is not feeling any pain for the first time in years because of the needed surgery. That's exciting right there. It is, because you can imagine what Ben could potentially do without pain in his arm. And he said he's felt it for years. We don't know exactly how many years. He never said it. Right, because this, disclo- this is all disclosed behind closed doors. No yeah, one but, outside but, but Ben and a few Steelers guys, you know, Tomlin probably, maybe a few guys in the suits and ties knew about it. Us fans didn't know about it. No, so, of course not. I mean, he- we could barely know us until literally last year. Right, so t- for him to say that and for Steelers fans to – know that, and to think back on what he's been doing the past few years when he was playing with this injury, it makes us feel excited for this upcoming season, knowing he's fully healthy. Which, Absolutely, man. Which he mentions because uh, the surgery itself, he said it was not Tommy John surgery. Now, if it was, it would be a completely different story. Um, he might not even be playing this year. He could still be rehabbing. He could be in retirement, honestly. Of course. Because... That type of surgery at this stage of his career and his age is pretty much career-threatening. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, that was not the case. It was not as threatening. It was not as serious as we all thought. In fact, according to Ben, he tore three flexor tendons off the bone. And what's during the surgery, the doctors, of course, reattached it. And according to him, says it never happened to a quarterback of this magnitude. So it's not as severe as the Tommy John surgery. He did not have Tommy John surgery. He just had three flexor tendons, torn off the bone, which were reattached, Mm -hmm. and now he's fully healthy. As he mentions here, when Ben says that his arm is feeling good, he says it feels great after throwing a bunch yesterday, which he threw a lot of footballs yesterday, Mm -hmm. and he said he woke up feeling great. And that's great to hear. You know, a guy coming off uh, an injury and a surgery off his throwing arm that he's been dealing with pain for many years now, it's great to hear. It's great to see. Yeah. he And that just goes to show you how tough Ben is. Yeah. He even mentioned in the Zoom call that he has scheduled times to throw th- throughout these months during the off season. Mm-hmm. You know, he would uh, schedule two, three times out of the week for throwing sessions. So you know he's getting ready. And the, for him to throw a bunch yesterday during training, his first day at training camp, and to feel great and not really feel much pain or any pain rather, then that's an exciting thing to think about. It is. That's an exciting thought. That's a positive note right there for Ben. It really is. Really positive note, especially for the Steelers, man. Mm -hmm. Another thing Ben said, now, this is something that everyone's been saying for the past four or five years now, but 
it's pretty more clear now knowing that he doesn't have the elbow injury to worry about anymore. He's completely healthy. Yeah. You know, that's not in his mind anymore. It's completely healthy. He doesn't have to worry about pain. So now all he can worry about is his diet, how he's looking physically. Because yeah, people, for many years, have saying he's out of shape. He's not as thin as he once was when he was a lot younger. He just he just doesn't look the same. Yeah. And it was noticeable, you know, before he had his surgery. Right. But he actually said right here that he says he, he feels lighter than he's ever been in, like, 13, 13 14, 14 years. years. Yeah. He says, and I quote, I feel strong and healthy and young, if you can feel young at this age. That right there, he's pretty much in the best shape of his life is what he's saying. Yeah. That's great. Now, again, we say that every year. He says that thing every year. But we didn't know he had the elbow injury as well. So now that that's all healed, that's out the window for him. He don't have to worry about that. So now he can only worry about his physical appearance and how he looks. So that right there is great. And for him to say he's lighter and feeling good, man, that's awesome. At this age, it's crazy. Absolutely. And one thing that really got Steelers fans wild up today was his one statement where he said, now, he, he said he hasn't contemplated retirement after the injury because, you know, he he was just worried about getting back on the field because he, he also mentioned when he was on the sidelines, he obviously didn't like it. He, he wanted to be out there with his boys. Of course, but obviously he couldn't, obviously. Yeah, for obvious reasons. So he didn't contemplate retirement. He was fully focused on getting healthy, uh, uh, recovering and getting back on the field. And it goes to show how great Ben's mentality is. You right. know, for most quarterbacks with that kind of injury, he, they just hang it up, especially at his age. Yeah. You know, it's something that not a lot of quarterbacks can come back from or ever be the same or from. Or any type of injury, season and injury at this age for a quarterback. Yeah. Most, most of them hang up, most of them don't play no more. Like, for example, Peyton Manning. Neck injury, obviously more severe than what Ben had, but a neck injury that probably should have ended his career. He came back and had the absolute season of a lifetime for an NFL quarterback in 2013. Oh, yeah. Absolute revival of his career. So It really was. You know, it's 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 a rarity for, you know, quarterbacks like this to return after a season-ending season injury and still want to play, still want to go out there. And pretty much what he says, I still want to win Lombardi's, and I say that with a plural at the end. Now, that makes us all feel very good. It really does. You know, uh, backtracking, he said that he hasn't contemplated retirement. He says he has a few good years left in him. He still wants to give more to this team, to the fans. And that leads to, I still want to win Lombardi's. And I say that with a plural at the end. Lombardi's. So not just one. He wants more. He wants more. Now, two, three, who knows? Now, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, he has two years left in his current contract. So, uh... If he says that he, he he's not saying that he wants to play another ten, he doesn't have another ten years in him. That's, I'd say impossible. Yeah, no but, question. He's not. Gonna but play he's for saying 10 years. he's saying he has a lot left in him. He still has more to give to the team and the fan base and the franchise to the point of Lombardi's. He has two years left on his contract. Could this mean he gets one last extension, depending on how he looks, how he feels? He's saying he's feeling great, so maybe he does have more than two years left in him. Maybe we don't have to worry about a franchise quarterback for. Let's say three, four years. Now, I don't see it. I, I honestly don't. You know, Ben has taken a beating his entire life because that's just his style, backyard football. Oh, yeah. That's how he's always played. He's not an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady or any of these quarterbacks that release the ball one, two, three seconds after the 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 the, the snap. Mm-hmm. He extends the play. He gets hit. He's not afraid to take hits. Backyard football. That's how he's always played. We see it every week, and mm-hmm. that's why, like, it's great that he has an offensive line now because when we see him get hit, we cringe because we're like, oh, shit, he's more fragile now. Of course, so that, that's always our worry with Ben nowadays. Right. You know, he's more injury-prone. But right. But, th- again, the fact that he's not feeling any pain, he's more healthy, it speaks volumes. Yeah, he's feeling good. So could we see one last extension with Big Ben in the black and gold? I don't know. I think that all depends on how he does this upcoming season. Right. Or maybe he's just focused on his last two years being his last two years, and he's just driving with that. He's going to end his contract with these last two years. And see where it goes. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. He's saying he feels good. He's saying he has a lot to give to this team and the fans. So, by all means, Ben, please, by all means. Seriously, because what we had to endure last year, I don't I don't think any of us want to have to endure any more of it. Nah. And he said... Lombardi's. 
So And he has that possibility now because, I mean, we haven't won a Lombardi in 10, 11, 12 years since Super Bowl 43. It's right. been long overdue. It's coming up on 12 had, years now, yeah. It's been long overdue since we had a Lombardi. We should have won at least two, three more with the team that we had last decade. Right. But, but we couldn't because of the horrendous defense and the amount of drama that was on top of our shoulders. Exactly. Now that we actually have, and this is where I look back at Ben's injury. Yes, it was unfortunate that he went went down, but it had to been. If you, I want to look at it from a positive standpoint because now he's not feeling any pain in his elbow. He's got he's pain free. He's more slim. He's more fit, and we got a stacked defense now. We traded for Minka. And that made our defense completely yes, whole now. Yes, we were able to focus on this defense. Ben's injury last year, although it did suck, it was a blessing in disguise. It really was. It was an absolute blessing in disguise. And I think this season, and possibly for seasons to come, will prove that. Yeah, and I, I, I don't want to say it was necessary, but it's something that needed to turn our entire team around. I think Well, honestly, that... It, that is what could happen. Right, and honestly, if you think about it, he's been feeling the pain for a couple of years now. So if that injury never came about, then who knows when when it would have. It could have been this year. You yeah. know, we could have been week one, excited, Monday Night Football against the Giants, and then five plays in, he fucks up his arm. And then that fucks up our entire season. Yeah, again. Screwed, yeah. So it's... I, again, the, the, the injury was unfortunate for last season, but again, it was a blessing in disguise. Because... Ben needed the surgery. He wasn't really worried about it. He just put it to the side and kept playing. And then when he threw that pass to Juju, like he said, it was it was a different feeling. It, it went all the way down his arm. He knew it was bad and it was discomforting. Mm-hmm. It was a blessing in disguise. And I think that's going to prove it. And one guy that will help prove that is Eric Ebron. Another interesting note Roethlisberger said was, Roethlisberger said Eric Ebron stayed at his house earlier this offseason when they got together for throwing sessions. Says he enjoyed sitting around and talking with Ebron. Now, don't tell Antonio Brown that. Yeah, because he'll go on another Twitter rant. Yes, he, he will. Had, if he hasn't had enough of those throughout the past year and a half. And already the last two weeks. Yeah. But don't tell Antonio Brown that. But Eric Ebron has stayed at Ben's house and for throwing sessions, for workout sessions. And just getting to know each other. That's chemistry. They're already working on that chemistry before training camp. Now they're already throwing at training camp. Yesterday was Eric Ebron's first day, too. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing he looked good. So they're getting that chemistry going. And we said several times, you you have a tight end friendly quarterback with Eric Ebron. He's shown what he can do with quarterbacks like that. Yeah. With Andrew Luck, with the Indianapolis Colts. Yes. Had a breakout year, Pro Bowl year. Yes, he did. And, and you know how Ben likes to utilize his tight ends. He did it with Heath. He did it with Spath a couple times. He's done it with Vance. He's done it with Jesse James. Let's he, can go on on Ladarius Green. Ladarius Green. I think that's exactly what Eric Ebron will bring to this offense. Is what He is what Ladarius Green should have been. Of yep. course, Ladarius Green had concussion issues before and when he was on the field. Um, you know, when we signed him, he was out for like half the season with a concussion that he sustained the prior season when it was with the Chargers. The San Diego Chargers at the time. Yeah. We signed him, did not know about his injury, and he was out half the year. When he finally played in that Giants game, he sparked. He was that he was one of the bigger playmakers for the Steelers on offense in that Giants game. Mm-hmm. That one year the Giants actually looked good defensively. And he was one of the sparks for that offense that in that game. I remember that game very vividly. Mm-hmm. And he played like another few games until we got another concussion. That was pretty much the end of him and his career. Yeah. Hasn't recovered since. Now, Ebron does have injury concerns himself, but at least we know he's healthy. At least we know he's ready to go. You know, Because he stated on Twitter earlier this year, he feels no pain as well. Yeah. He feels ready to go. He's ready to go with Ben in the Steelers' offense. Right, and you got him connecting with Ben already before and during camp. That builds chemistry. So if you don't think Eric Ebron's going to – if you don't think Eric Ebron's not going to make an impact, you're mistaken. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's – it's another exciting factor for this offense. You know, Juju's coming to a contract here. Mm-hmm. We know Claypool. Matt Canada already said that Ebron, well, yeah, not Ebron, um, Claypool's going to play a lot. Mm-hmm. He's going to play, and he's going to play a lot. Not only Matt Canada, but our new wide receivers coach, Mike Hilliard. Yeah. In fact, I believe he was the one that said it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Excuse me. But nonetheless, he's... Ebron's going to see a lot of playing time. James Washington currently on the COVID list. Hopefully he recovers soon, but we got him. Deontay Johnson, I think he's going to see the field a lot as well. He's going to be the number one very shortly. Mm-hmm. We know what the backfields consist of when they're healthy. So oh, yeah. 
it's stacked. You know, the, and Ben is fully healthy. Like, he's he has nothing to worry about. Yeah, and that offensive line of his, you know, they're going to be real excited to get the yeah. quarterback back. And, of course, the cherry on top of this Sunday, the defense. When was the last time Ben had a great defense? 2010? That's it. He the last hasn't time had, we went to the Super Bowl. He hasn't had a defense to back him up in a full decade. And in that decade, Ben put on some of his best years. Mm-hmm. Now coming into this stacked offense, he has fully healthy, nothing to worry about, with a pretty good offensive line still. His boy Pouncey protecting him out. David DeCastro, of course. Villanueva. Matt Feeler. Mm-hmm. Possibly Wentz Newski or Dotson. Possibly. Maybe. And, and then you got that defense that's going to cause some turnovers and do what they can on that football field. Exactly. You're and looking that, at a scary AFC team, guys. And that's what Ben mentioned here. He said... It's fun going into the 2020 season as an underdog. He added, it, It's exciting to come back and play with such a great defense and, of course, his offensive line. He says it, it, it's better to play as the underdog because it's, you know, it's, it's obviously, it's, it's, it's cool to be one of the favorites and the top dogs and to be hunted. Yeah, of course. But to be the underdog and swoop people from underneath, man, that's, that's a better un- feeling. underdog Cinderella story. And you that's know, how we, we had it in 2005 when we were the number six seed and went all the way to the, su- to the Super Bowl and Super Bowl 40 and win. Exactly. And that's how we've always won, especially recently. Well, you know, not, we, not recently, all, but, all, you know, in those years. Yeah, we've always been slept on, especially throughout that entire 2000s decade, that 2000s year. We yeah. were always slept on. We had the number one defense throughout that entire decade. Yeah. And now we, we've always been slept on. And now look at this team now, man, like we just stated in the last five minutes. It's exciting. Ben is back. He is healthy. He's he's back. Like, Big Ben is back. He has no pain. He has no injuries. He has nothing to worry about. He's completely healthy. He is light, according to him, for the first time in 13, 14 years. You know? So, Ben pretty much has nothing distracting him no. this year. No drama. No, no injuries. Nothing. Nothing. He's comfortable with the offensive line. We know he's comfortable with the weapons, with Ebron and Juju. Mm-hmm. Even dating back to last year, they hung out at his home in Georgia. Yeah. So you know he's got that chemistry with them. Yeah. They're he's gonna he's keep, prepped for a big return year. They're just going to keep adding, man. They're just really going to keep adding. We could see Big Ben win and come back player of the year, hopefully. I don't want to jinx nothing because I believe in that jinxing stuff. Right, I, I get you, but this is exciting. And I'm sure, you know, there's going to be Ravens fans, Bengals fans, Brown fans. Oh, you're excited just because your quarterback throws a pass with no pressure in training camp in an empty stadium. Damn right we're fucking excited. Hell yeah. How about you have your goddamn franchise quarterback go out for an entire year and you guys actually do decent in that season only to have your franchise quarterback come back the year later fully healthy with a stacked team? I mean, oh, that's right, you damn can't. right we're f- – yeah, exactly. You that's guys, right, you can't. Because you guys suck. Because you guys don't have the same team. Anytime you don't anytime, have the coach. Anytime your franchise quarterback goes down, two and eleven, or two, two and fourteen, or 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 five and eleven, if you're lucky. Because you guys suck. We went eight and eight without Ben, going out in week two. Now that he's coming back, fully healthy, the and people he's have not. and people exactly, and people have the audacity to say that our season's going to be up by week five. We're going to go six and ten. Eight and eight. You're out of your damn mind, guys. But you want to sleep on us? Fine. fine. Go on ahead. People saying Ben's washed up. You know what? Okay, fine. For example, let's say Ben is washed up. Maybe, maybe, maybe Ben is done. Maybe Ben does need to hang it up. He's still a better option than what we had last year. Washed up or not? Oh no doubt, a thousand times better. We a thousand went, times we went, better. We went eight and eight last year. If there was one losing season for Tomlin to ever have, it was last year. And he managed to make sure that didn't happen. Eight and fucking eight. Losing his franchise Hall of Fame gold jacket quarterback week two. Relying on nothing but the defense. And we saw what that defense is capable of. Most turnovers in the league. Correct me if I'm wrong. Most sacks in the league. Yeah. Again. Yeah. We were one game away from making the damn playoffs. And then we have... There was a point where we actually were in the playoffs. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, the team that, that slept. Yeah, that slept within our, our grasp. But right, nonetheless, right. we were there without Ben. If you're gonna that's say that's supposed to if, happen. If you're gonna say we're damn proud of, the, of that, fuck yeah. 
And with Ben coming back, you better watch the fuck out. Exactly. No pain. He's already getting chemistry going with Ebron before and during camp. Claypool's going to see a lot of playing time. I mean, he's pretty much going to be our next Martellus Bryant, only without the drama. And possibly better. Because guys of his stature, his speed, his potential, it's n- it's rare to find. Yeah. So, Ben is back. Ben is back. He says he wants to win Lombardi's, and that's with a plural at the end. Lombardi's. And by all means, Ben, go, for go it. ahead. Go, go for it. Please. I can't wait for the season, man. Hopefully there is a season, of course. But I can't wait. I think this team is being slept on a lot. And again, I know Steelers fans say that. We say that every damn year. But seriously... We have a legit defense, and we can say that finally. Yes. We've said that the past few years. Oh, we actually have a good defense now. Actually, we didn't. We just no, had we a pass didn't. We just thought now we, we have didn't. a fucking yes. defense. Yeah, like no question. TJ Watt, Minka, Cam Hayward, Stephon Tilla coming back. Devin Bush coming into a second Joe year. Hayden, Don't, Steven Nelson. Do, I mean, shall we go on? We don't have to. I think we're going to end the video right here, man. Let us know your guys' thoughts down below, man. Ben is back. I uh, hope you guys are excited as much as we are, man. The season can't come soon enough. Monday Night Football can't come soon enough, man. Against the Giants, can't wait for that, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, no preseason, but you know what? It gives the guys time to rest. Hopefully, you know, we get more chemistry going in that time. I'm excited. Let us yeah. know your guys' thoughts down below, man. Let us know you guys' excitement, of course, down below. See you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace!